Bob here. Welcome to the channel. That's right, I'm still at home, quarantining like everyone else, practicing my good social distancing, and, uh, you know, hoping that things are going to go back to normal soon. Fingers crossed on that. Um, but anyhow, so I was looking at my channel and uh, looking through the videos and trying to decide what I was going to do next. And I realized that I hadn't made a most expensive records in the collection video since December of 18. And I thought, you know, I've gotten a lot of records since then, so it might be time for an update. So without further ado, the top 12, top 12 most, most expensive, expensive records, records in the collection, in the collection. according to the median price on Discogs. I have all my records cataloged on Discogs and um, I've chosen the top 12. I have excluded box sets. So, just putting that up front. Anyway, number 12, coming in hot. Ba bow Rage Against the Machine, self-titled, that's right. Um, this is the first pressing of the record. Iconic cover. We all know this photograph. It is um, of a Tibetan monk burning himself alive. Um, Rage, a rather political band. If you were around when they came out, every interview, somebody said, a lot of people think you guys are too political. <laughs> I'm sure that was fairly annoying to them, but um, they're very, very political. This is one angry, angry record. I love it. It comes in hard with um, the track, with bomb track, it, and that's what sets this record off, and it it's insane. I mean, everybody knows Killing in the Name of It's on here, blah, blah, blah. Every cover band plays it, etc. You know, but it's, it's my least favorite track on the record. Um, you know, it. there's not a more extreme frontman than Zach. Uh, Tom Morello is a genius on the guitar, and the rhythm section is one of the most heaviest, badass rhythm sections in any band ever. Uh, I love Rage Against the Machine. Um, I loved Audio Slave, so yeah, really cool. First pressing of the record. Uh, let's get down to brass tacks here. It says it is currently at $108.70. That is the median price that you will pay for it on Discogs. Um, a sealed copy will run you about a thousand bucks. Number 11. Bam, original stereo pressing of a Love Supreme on the very familiar Impulse label. This is Coltrane at the apex of his powers. There was no one like him then, and really hasn't been anyone like him since. Genius, somewhat of a spiritual leader, and an ultimate master of the saxophone. John Coltrane, a Love Supreme, if you don't have this, get a reissue, get whatever you have to. It's a must have in the, um, you know, if you're collecting jazz records. Uh, it's currently selling in the median price at $112.50. Next, this came out Record Store Day. You might remember it, boom, The Crow, Brandon Lee's The Crow, original motion picture soundtrack, in my opinion, this is the finest motion picture soundtrack of all time. That's just my opinion, okay? I was playing music and listening to tons of music in the 90s. Um, uh, I'm a lifelong martial artist and martial arts movie fan. And, um, you know, when this came out, it just blew my mind. Um, this is the 25th anniversary copy of the record. Two LPs, one white, one black, uh, limited to 8,000 copies. Uh, opens with The Cure, a song called Burn. Yeah, dope. Uh, also, check this out. Let, let me just, I'll just be quick about this. Machines of Love and Grace, Stone Temple Pilots, Nine Inch Nails, Rage Against the Machine, The Violent Films, The Rawlings Band, Ghost Rider, Helmet, Pantera, For Love, Not Lisa, My Life with the Thrill Kill Coat, The Jesus and Mary Chain, Medicine, and Jane Saberi. Okay, this is an insanely awesome record. And when I saw that this was coming out on Record Store Day, I was like, I'm going in. 
it was like a it was like a special forces mission. By the way, it's currently um, one fourteen seventy eight. <clears throat> Got this uh, sometime during um, the end of twenty nineteen. Yeah. Bam. Man of words, man of music. This is the first U.S. pressing of a record uh, everybody knows, Space Oddity. Um, this is not the ultimate Bowie Grail. You know, the one with the polka dots behind the head, the UK version is. But I was super happy to find this. It is a white label promo, by the way. Um, WVSU FM, Sam, Samford University. Birmingham, Alabama is where this went originally. Yeah. It has Space Oddity on it. It's dope. It's it's a fantastic classic record. And in the media selling for $127.44. Next. Talk about a killer record here. Bam. Mingus. Mingus uh, um, um This is um, on Columbia. It is also a white label promo. This is a classic record. Pork pie hat and, um, you know, a bunch of other fantastic tunes are on this. Mingus, awesome bass player, fantastic composer. Um, just, this is a dope record. And I got this a while ago. Um, it's got a little tear off here. So, you know, whatever. But uh, it's currently selling for $132.50. You might know Pork Pie Hat because Jeff Beck does a fantastic cover of it. Yeah, Mingus. Ah, uh, um. Super happy to find that. Plays real nice. Uh, got this one in 2019 as well. Showed this several times on the channel already. We all know it. Bam, Coltrane, Lush Life on Prestige. Yeah, that's right. It's the original pressing of the record. Um, it's in very fine condition, as you can see here. Currently selling for $132.50 and worth every penny of it. Old Prestige Records play great, sometimes irregardless of condition. But um, this one's in great shape. Got this for 30 bucks at a record show. Real stoked on it. Real happy to have it. Said many times, track two, I Love You, is one of my favorite Coltrane compositions. R real good early Coltrane there. You know. Let's get into uh, something I hold near and dear to my heart. Um, that, by the way, is currently selling in the median for 150 bucks. Okay. Came out in, I believe, 94. Let me see if I'm... No, nah, 93. Oh, well. Bam. Smashing Pumpkins. Siamese Dream. That's right on that pumpkin colored wax listen Smashing Pumpkins are a polarizing band mostly because of Billy Corgan's vocal sound okay but you have to understand something the Smashing Pumpkins are a psychedelic rock band they were and are and uh, when this came out at the time it, you know I mean, come on. This came out like with with the, you know, grunge music, which is actually just rock music. Um, but when you've been watching dudes walk around in spandex pants with girls' underwear pulled over them and half tank tops, okay, tees in their hair, for ten years basically, um, this was the biggest breath of fresh air that you could ever imagine. Okay, I'm talking. Big Muffs, Phasers, Mellotrons. Ugh. Do you know what a Mutron biphase is? I didn't think so, but it's on this record. Orange Wax, you can get one for 150 bucks. Anyway, moving on with great vigor. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this record because we all know about it, whatever. Um, Currently also selling for 150. Bam. Led Zeppelin 2 RL. This is a um, Monarch pressing of the record. 
This is the Hot Press, or L. SS if you want to get really really particular on both sides of the dead wax um, I have three RLs. This is probably the best of the three uh, easily the the uh, MO sounds better than all of the other pressings for whatever reason. I don't know why but um, This is a dope record Everybody knows it. It's got all the tunes. It's possibly Zeppelin's finest work ever Um these guys, they're geniuses, you know? And, <clears throat> you know, say what you want. One of the greatest rock bands of all time. It's an expensive record to have. Even burn up copies of the RLs are 100 bucks, generally. Um, I paid 50 for that one, just putting it out there. Okay, next. Possibly my favorite record in the collection. Not really based on what's... Listen, when I say favorite, I'm just talking about a record that I just... I just love this physical item for some reason. I like the way it looks. I like the material that's on the record. I like everything about it. Okay? In the meeting, it's currently selling for $157.50. I paid 30 bucks for it. Bam. The meters, strutting. OG on Josie. Man, this is a record. Um... The first three meters records on on Josie are covented records. They're hard to get. Um, I walked in a record store, Highland Records. It's no longer there. And you know, it was one of these record stores where the dude is just, um, you know, it, he was just. I mean, this is there's a smoking ban in Louisville, and there has been for years. And he's just in there, just puffing away. The whole place smells like cigarette smoke. It's terrible. It was a little shop, and he had like you know some Beatles, um, UKs uh, uh, up for display as kind of his, you know, Holy Grail type stuff, a couple hundred bucks a piece or something like that. You know, I thought it was overpriced, whatever. So I'm just looking through the regular stuff, and I hear he's playing this real funky record, and I'm like, hey, what are you playing there? And he's like, the Beatles. And I'm like, oh yeah, is that a OG copy and he says yeah it is and I was holding a copy of Sticky Fingers a real nice OG copy of Sticky Fingers in my hands at the time and I said well what do you got to have for it and he said cash only 30 bucks and you have to buy that Sticky Fingers right there the Sticky Fingers was $12 so <clears throat> I said so if I bring you $42 I get these two records and he said that's right and I went and got $42 out of the ATM machine and came back and bought these records. <laughs> and it has one of the most dope covers, as far as I'm concerned. It plays beautifully. It's, it's a fantastic record. Super stoked on it. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Top three here, top three. Bit of a grail for me. Uh, I was searching for this record for a while. This is a near mint copy. Very, very clean. If you were around in 1987, no doubt you know this record. Boom. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction, band cover. That's right. It's on Geffen. This is Dead Mint. Listen, in 1987, the furiosity that was coming off this record, you're talking about. Forget about Paradise City. Forget about Sweet Child. Forget about Welcome to the Jungle, okay? We're talking about My Michelle, Night Train, Rocket Queen, and Mr. Brownstone. I mean, it's just a badass record, okay? And, um, you know, I remember it well. Everybody had this record. We were all listening to it. This was on the inside of the cassette tape. Because um, we were all listening to cassette tapes at the time, you know. You know, I was looking and looking and looking for this. Super glad to have it. It's currently selling for $169.90 on average. Okay, now, let's get into some serious business here. This is probably technically the most expensive available record that I have. Okay, coming in, number two. OG Stereo, boom, John Coltrane, Blue Train, on that Blue Note label, that's right. 
Got this at a record show. It's currently selling for $187.50. Uh, this is in fantastic condition. The guy who sold me this sold it to me for like $100. Um, he bought a super nice uh, mono OG and um, was moving his stereo on. Thanks, John. And um, yeah, sold me this at the show, and I was happy to get it. Not gonna play anything off of it. We all know Blue Train. It's possibly the you know second or third finest Gold Train record. Third for me. Just just saying. Um. All right. And like my first video, still nothing can defeat this last record. Coming in number one. Boom. Esperanza Spalding exposure. You probably don't know this record. Uh, Esperanza is a jazz musician. Um, she did... Uh, her last few records have been kind of fusion records, which I love a lot. And this was a record that she made, uh, like, on Facebook Live. Okay, they, they, they were on there for days and days and days recording this record. And when it was all over and done with... Um, they took all these big sheets of notes that they had, cut them up and pasted them to these jackets. They signed all these records and uh, they sent them out. They were like 70 bucks. It's on this custom label. I'm a huge fan. I love most of the things Esperanza does. I've been following her music for years. And um, here's the deal on this. The cheapest this record has ever sold for is 187.11. In the median, the median price is four fifteen, exactly four hundred fifteen dollars, and then the the max that anyone's ever paid is five sixty one, eighty. Okay. Yeah, it's a hard record to get. Limited to seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven copies. Um, this one's in the two thousand range. Yeah. So, those are my current top 12 most expensive records in the collection. Now, I do want to just clarify that <laughs> the next 10 after that, uh, say, or the next 12 after that, are very similar in price to these. They're like $100 records. So, you know, it's in really, I mean, what's a few dollars here or there? $100 records, $100 record, you know. Uh, I could do uh, the next top 12 and it would be maybe even cooler stuff but uh it, it, this is a, a, a departure from the last video which was mostly metal you know a lot of um records like um like this boom metallica's kill them all on megaforce yeah that was um pretty much um ruling the roost a lot of metal records like that but um currently selling in the median for 95 dollars yeah that's the uh top 12 records in the collection please like subscribe tell a friend leave a comment down below um yeah just sitting here guys making videos <laughs> playing a lot of guitar sitting here today with um 1958 Fender Stratocaster. If you get bored, um, check out my band, Condors in the System, available on all platforms, including here on YouTube. I will link it at the end of the video. I always put a lot of cool links in the comments, so check those out. And um, until we meet again, Bob out.